Hi guys and welcome to Carflix. Today we're going to be changing the rear number plate lights on a 2010 Peugeot RCZ and we're going to be using W5W bulbs which is the correct bulbs for the back of the RCZ. It was just something that bothered me. I don't like the halogen look at night and I thought it'd be a really good upgrade for not much money. I think I got these off Amazon and I think they're about five quid and you get about eight of these or something like that but it was in the amazon warehouse so they were reduced price anyway so without further ado let's crack on with that video right guys so these are the number plate lights and they're located both here and here the rcz has two of these and to get this off what you're going to need is you're just going to need a, a small flathead screwdriver and all we do uh, is there's a little nib just here is you just put it in there and slowly prise it out it will drop on the floor don't worry about that that's just how they are and then you do the same on the other side as well they'll just fall out but don't worry they won't break they're made out of plastic now the next thing we're going to do is they're quite weirdly angled uh, i don't know if you can see here but the bulb is like a kind of an angle it's really bizarre i had a a ds3 and they're kind of angled to the to the right slightly so what we're gonna have to do is grab it and give it a good pull um, using some some pliers now i use these it's like a little pliers which got a little gap at the end uh, and these will be ideal for doing this so let's go and do that so how we're going to do this is just feel because you'll be able to see very well uh, and then feel where the bulb is and kind of put your pliers in now you don't need a lot of pressure because you don't want to crack these but just pull and there you have it now i had the osram version of these which was supposed to be like xenon but they still look really really poor to me so try and remember the angle they came out at and then kind of copy that with the new ones but you'll have to be careful with the led ones because they are um, not as well protected as these glass ones so let's give that a shot here are the LED ones, as you can see, uh, they've got no glass on them at all, it's just a circuit board. Now it does matter which round, way around you do put these in. If you put them in and they don't turn on, you just need to flip them the other way around, so let's do that now. If you're enjoying this video so far, why not consider liking and subscribing? And then just push them in until they weren't going any further. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check it first to see if I've got it the right way around. And there you go. By chance I got it the right way around. So what we're going to do now is just slide these back in until it clicks. And then what we'll do is we'll go and do the other side now. So obviously at the minute um, you're not going to really see the benefit because it's not night but I will come back and we'll take a night shot. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.